Want to check the microphones, make sure everything's working here? Hello. 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 Hi, Mitch Pelegi. Hello. Pelegi. I'm so sorry. And, and I'm That's okay, Anna, Annabeth Geesh. <laughs> Annabelle. It's Annabelle. Oh, no. No, I Annabelle. Well, I got, I got two out of three right. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. But how has your experience been here so far at X-Fest? It's been great. Everybody's been so nice. Uh, it's, it's very well organized. And it's like, it's the, the enthusiasm to see, usually when we do these things, it's like you have bands from all these different genres and different shows and stuff, but to see a group of just x Wilds fans together like this, and, and it's yeah. just... It's awesome. The only thing I'm broken up about is I really wanted to do a panel with Stephen Williams. <laughs> but the upside is, since I'm not doing a panel with Stephen Williams, I'll probably get a chance to talk. Well, as a, a convention virgin, this was actually the very first convention I've been to. Impressed as hell, and someone tattooed my signature onto their arm today, so I think that's, that's a win. <laughs> and also, we have to mention we have another guest that we're going to bring up. That was it a contest that you ran? Yes, I did a, um, a, a the organization called Prizeio. We did a campaign for a theater company in Los Angeles that help, helps disenfranchised youth, and Tasha won the contest. Ready? So she. <laughs> from Colorado, and she gets to sit on the panel with us. Yay! Hello. <laughs> so obviously, and about like you said, so this is your very first convention, so obviously the three of you have never done a panel before, so this is all new, and this is very exciting. A panel together, I should say. We do have a microphone set up, and since there are so many of you, I don't want to waste my time talking. We're going to throw it right to the audience. If you guys have any questions, now is your time to ask. I, uh, I ask now that if you want to line up with the microphone with whatever questions you may have. I know it's a little bit intimidating, but now is your chance, guys. This is your moment. Oh. Is anything off limits here today? We'll see. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Julia. <laughs> so I got the most difficult question, the first one. Um, so how was for the three of you to read the My Struggle 3 script that uh, the smoking man was actually William's father? But we should add, as you know, that it's not as simple as it seems. It's not as simple as it seems. When people first saw the episode and heard the line, uh, there, was, there was a lot of backlash and, and uh, a lot of uh, unhappy. But you know, my, my answer to that was just, just watch the rest of the season. Please, please, please watch the rest of the season. <laughs> So before we get to this next question, I've actually, I just got the text message. I have just been informed that next year, because this has been such a huge success, will be X-Fest 2. Yeah. 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 And we expect to see each and every one of you back here. Yeah. Incredible. David name? and Jillian aren't even here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I missed that. Who was that you were speaking of? Uh, 
Skolder, Skolder and Molly. Oh, did I say that wrong? There was someone we who had a t-shirt. Right? There was someone who had a t-shirt that said something like, sorry, but you guys aren't David and Jillian. <laughs> Burn. All right, what's your name? My name is Mercedes. I have a two-part question. Um, after not working together for so long, was it easy to kind of go back into working together, and did it feel natural? Uh, yeah, I thought, it, I thought it was very easy. I mean, it's like these these characters were such a huge part of, of our lives, and we played them for so long. For me, at least, it was it was um, yeah, it was it was all there, and and, and just uh, I, I just I looked for it, found it, and then brought it back to, to, to what I was doing, so I don't know if that makes any sense. But. Uh, yeah, for me, with, you know, you, Mitch, especially, um, because I had never worked with S Smoking Man before the last two seasons, um, so it was new with Bill, but Mitch, it was like just immediately like, like it used to be. <laughs> oh, Monica, why are you pointing a gun at my head? <laughs> Again. And you mind if I smoke? I love, I love that line and I love Bill's delivery. It was just absolutely perfect. And like every time he said it, I was like, going, man, this is. For me, it's like so, I've so known the, my whole the answer to your first part of your question was I think, you know, we got, it, it, it was very easy for us to, to go back together. It didn't feel like there'd been a long gap or, no, it felt great. And since the show has been so great, in my opinion, can we look forward to another season after this one? We're not answering that question. Because I don't want to get my ass kicked by about half of you. So that's a yes? Thank you. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. As David has said, when he would, I'm not even going to Never mind. What's your name? Just for which point? My name is Russ. Uh, why can't the Bills win the Super Bowl? Why is that so important? <laughs> so, oh, the Bills. This is a man yes. from Buffalo. Oh yes, that's <laughs> um, yes. Uh, well, I don't know. I might soften on that. I, um, give me a give me another twenty years. Maybe we'll get them. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kelly, and I, my question is for Anna Beth. And so now we ask you about other roles that you've had in, in, in a con like this. But um, what do you remember from Shag, and do you remember how to shag? Of course, <laughs> yes. I, uh, if you guys don't know what the shag is, it's not the London shag. It's the, the South Carolina shag, which is the state dance of South Carolina. Uh, I haven't done the shag for a while, but I have very fond memories of, I played a character named Pudge. Do it. Do it. No, I, I'm not going to do the shag, and I'm not going to sing a whale song. Don't ask. What's your name? My name is Ryan, and Mitch... You just seem like a really down-to-earth guy. How is it that you're able to seem so fed up with Skulder and Molly's crap at all times? Well, you notice when I went into his apartment, he's the only thing they found in there was a bottle of, of what was it? <laughs> Metamucil. x lax or Metamucil. I was going to guess Metamucil. And I've always, it's funny because when they, I think Gabe, Gabe wrote that in and it was, uh, I've always described Skinner as being perpetually constipated. <laughs> so, so that's, that's why Gabe, Gabe took that, and he was like, okay, I'm, I'm putting this, I'm putting this thing. I thought it was brilliant. I was, I was very, but yeah, I, I, you know, it's, it's acting. <laughs> What's your name? Um, hi, my name is Laura, and this question is for Annabeth. Um, and I'm sure you probably can't tell us, but just nod your head or something. Mm. Are we going to have some Reyes redemption this season? Yeah. Uh, this is when I get to be actor constipated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say anything. 
Nice try, though. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta try. What's your name? I'm Nikki, and my original question was gonna be for Annabeth of what, how you drew inspiration for helping Scully through labor with the whale calls, but you nixed that one already. <laughs> so my next one is, whenever you were um, writing your script. <laughs> I will say this, that the, the, what we used for the, um, the delivery of the baby, I'll never forget it, was cottage cheese and strawberry jelly. <laughs> reaction when you saw that Reyes had turned? What was your first thought since she was such a believer? In My this? first thought was that it had to be protected to, to be to protect Scully. That was what my first thought was. I mean, I didn't really want to go to the other side, but now I've actually had a wonderful time working with William. <laughs> the other side's not so bad. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Um, my question is, who's the skeptic and who's the believer? Uh, which, uh, do you guys really believe in aliens? He's a skeptic. I'm, I'm a believer. skeptic. You're I'm a believer. skeptic. I'm a believer. Oh I know earlier we took the poll, but now that it's later in the day, I say we take the poll again. So, where are the skeptics? Nope. <laughs> and the believers? following this. they've been doing it for 25 years no. you guys have been here for 25 years and we got we got new generations of fans coming in i talked to kids that are 10 years old that have, that have been to watching the show from episode one so that's that that's i think that's that's a brilliant answer you get i mean you guys are the best fans in the world so that's, that's all and then there's opportunities like this where there's entire conventions What's your name? Hi, I'm Ria, and my question is for William B. Davis. Um, I'm so happy to finally meet you, and you're so, so nice, but I was wondering, do you ever get yelled at in the street just because everybody hates you as a cigarette smoking man? Especially after Vice Struggle 3 when you just claimed William was yours? I scream at him every time I see him on the street. Well... I mean, early in, early in the uh, in the history of the show, I remember being at one of these kind of no, actually it wasn't at one of these kind of events. I don't think it was. It was just somewhere. I was in a hotel, and I was going up the elevator, and just looking, you know, how you do on an elevator. You look at the front, and there's another woman standing there looking at the front, and then she looks over at me slowly, <laughs> and she goes. Oh my God! <laughs> You're that person from the X Files. <laughs> and I said, "Yes," with a smile. I am. I am the person from the X Files. And she ran out down the hall, brought all her friends to come and see me. <laughs> but the, no, not too often. I used to get. I used to get all kinds of. Hey, you got a cigarette? <laughs> But I think most people understood that it's it's really a story. Thank you so much. Or or maybe they really no that's a long that's a long story. But uh, my character is the hero of the show. You didn't know. Perhaps you hadn't understood that. 
You still think Mulder's a good person? What's your name? Hi, I'm Andrea. Hi, Mitch. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> no, William, I met you two years ago, too. I also met Mitch two years ago. But he remembered me, so it's okay. <laughs> question though is for all of you. I'm just curious to know which episode is your personal favorite? Um, I have two. 4D and Audrey Polly from... Yeah. Neither of which you, you... Were you guys in either one of those? <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? But that's all right. My favorite is Tuli Takumi, and you weren't in either of them. Yeah. Um, I've got to go. My home is home, home is my first. Because yeah. uh, I'm a sick puppy. And, uh, but I, I mean, I, there's, 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 a, there's a couple of them. I, uh, Clyde Bruckman's Final Repose is great. Yeah. I love Humbug. Darren, Darren Morgan's one of my favorite writers. I mean, I, I love all the writers, but Darren Morgan is. And he finally put me in an episode, which I, I had badgered him to do for so long. But, uh, yeah, but I, I, I'm a fan of, of his, and, and uh, um, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Amber. Uh, my question is for everyone. Uh, what was the most fun episode to film? But he's not getting it. <laughs> Considering that, that our shooting days were notoriously like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 hour days. Going 21 hours one time. It was like, I, was, I didn't even remember oh, yeah. which show I was doing. <laughs> I, I don't, you know. Yeah, how, how much fun was. No, I never mind. <laughs> you know, in a lot of the episodes, and uh, I can't remember. So, um, to be quite honest, so uh, one of my favorite moments was telling cigarette smoking man to pucker up and kiss yes. my hand. Yeah. Episode as she runs away. And you guys are sitting for this. Um, Beyond the Sea, Home, Never Again, and Avatar with um, your. This is Dita. So, Hi, Dita. Hi. I'm, I'm from the Mitch's Pledges, which is a fan club for Mitch, because we pledge our allegiance to Mitch Pledgey. So this question is for Annabeth. Oh, thank you. <laughs> my, my question is, are you a Mitch's Pledges? <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> thank you. I, I will say, like... He is just whoever said that before, you know, down to earth, grounded. Always, Mitch has been like kind, warm, welcoming to me when I first joined the show, however many years ago. Just steady as a rock and funny as hell. So I'm happy, so happy to be a Pelegi. <laughs> thanks, guys. Did she get her shirt? Thanks, Dita. Yeah, I, I, I got gave her a shirt. I gave her a shirt. Did you give her one? Steve Skinner shirt. I love it. Bill Davis, do you want a shirt? I'm gonna Are you Steve Skinner? Skinner. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Hello. What's your Hi. Name? My name's Paige. Um, one of my favorite questions to ask is about the best director in television, Kim Manners. So I wanted to ask all of you for your favorite Kim Manners moment, because he oh, was so important to the show. Too many. 
I just, you know, Kim was, Kim was a, he was talking about rock. He was, he was the rock of the show. Um, and he, uh, he brought so much, he brought so much energy and so much, he put so much of his, of his life and his heart into the, into the show. So it was, you know, I, I just, every, every, every moment that I was around Kim was, was, uh, he inspired me. So I, I, and I loved him to death. I miss him. <laughs> He was, uh, he, he, so many television directors, uh, I don't, don't want to say don't know much, but are not, not even particularly interested in actors. They're just kind of interested in getting the shot that they, that they that like. Yeah. Uh, but Kim would fool you that way. Of course, he'd been an actor, so he had a sensitivity to what we were doing. And I I'll, always used to surprise me, you know, you, you would come on set and you'd have a chance to just run lines with the other actor that you're going to do the scene with, and you'd be doing that. Then out of nowhere, all of a sudden, Kim is standing there going, watching how you're running your lines. Uh, oh, I thought I was just running my lines. Oh, okay. So he was engaging with your process right from there. And, and I remember how many times he would say, you know, after we'd done a, a take that we really liked, and he'd say, you know, I think you've got another one in you and we'd get to do one more just for the heck of it, just for an actor. Um, uh, no, he was, he was a joy to work with. Yeah, <clears throat> especially for me, joining in late, um, he was kind of my beacon, and uh, we still, to this day in my household, uh, co constantly say, when, whenever anyone has to go up and do something amazing, we all say, Kick it in the ass. He would, he would yell at me for every day. All right, let's kick it in the ass. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name's Eric. Uh, my question would be for Mr. Davis. Uh, clearly, your character is the hero of the show. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to know what could I do to assist you in your cause to get the rest of these non-believers on your side. <laughs> Talk to me later. <laughs> you said anal probe. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I think it should also... This is a definite X-Files crap. <laughs> I think it should also be mentioned, William, that in 2013, TV Guide voted you one of the 60 nastiest villains of all time. <laughs> Good. <laughs> As it should be. Hello again. Hi. Um, my question is, I don't remember the episode, but it was the episode where you knocked on the door and Scully answered it. And she had her blouse open and you seen her, I don't know, the episode. What was your thoughts when you seen her at Moda's house? Remember? Remember the episode? She, she answered the door with her, with her blouse open well, and I remember. It was half button. It was half button. came behind and they were like looking kind of suspicious like oh, well, I, I, what, what was what was I Mitch thinking or what was scared because I was thinking I, I read the script so I knew it was going to happen <laughs> not you of course you're like okay I gotta do this take of course but what was Skinner what was Skinner's mm -hmm. uh, like, what did you what did yeah, darling, what did I what, think what, yeah what, what, did what, did, what, what, what did, how did he react was he pissed was he a little uh, hot damn about time about time yep <laughs> All right. Okay. What's your name? Uh, my name's Connor. Um, I know the show was filmed in like British Columbia, like Canada ish earlier on, and then like, you know, rain soaked streets, lots of lush forests, then it got filmed in Los Angeles afterward. How big a difference was big. like that? Big difference? Big. How so? Well, I, when we started shooting in Brago Springs out in the desert, and it's nothing but you know glaring sunshine, you know, versus the wet streets of Vancouver, it's 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 Vancouver was Vancouver was is is, is wasn't is like another character on the show. It's where the show should be shot, um, and it's it's um, not that I want to take work away from American you know from Americans, but it, it's it's just is a it, it's part of the show. It's it's a huge part of the show. Um, and I've always said, like, like I just said, it's, it's, it's like another character on the show. So. And uh, uh, BC, or ben, <coughs> Vancouver area, has, has such a range of different um, geographies within quite a short distance. 
So you can have, you know, you can have the deep forest, you can have the city, you can have desert, you can have mountains, and it's all within, um, pardon my, my English, but it's within 200 kilometers. <laughs> He, know, he knows what that is in miles, he just won't say it. Well, thank you. What's your name? I am Melissa. I wanted to know, did you guys ever pull pranks on each other on set? <laughs> yeah, and a lot of them are on, on, on outtakes, and some of them I'm ashamed of. <laughs> I don't know Any what favorites? I was thinking. <laughs> And if I did them now, I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> anyway, so it's, we, things, I mean, the sense of humor on the set is pretty body, you know? And so sometimes things will get pretty... Yeah. Um, Not for me. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Do you remember that time you pulled your pants down and you were running down the hall with your butt hanging out? <laughs> Going, I'm the cigarette smoking man. I'm the cigarette smoking man. <laughs> Thank you guys for the visual. All right. What's your name? Hi, I'm Winston. Um, I have a 64 part question. <laughs> well, we got to wrap this up in 10 minutes. So you, you get one. So, if the X Files continues on, uh, and I don't necessarily think this is a good idea, but it's only a matter of time before uh, X Files the musical. So, uh, yeah, that being said, how game are the three of you, and is there anyone in the cast who's... Dave has been doing X-Files the, X -Files the, the musical for a while now. He just got done doing a tour of it in Australia. Uh, and a best dancer. I no, I think possibilities. We'll see. I, I, think it would be, I think it would be brilliant. A disease that makes people sing? It's not going to happen, but it would be brilliant. This is this is Heather who has a new decoration on her arm. Oh, is this the one? Yes! Wow. Um, my question is, what was your favorite all-time plot twist? Plot twist? Oh, I can answer that. <laughs> a character who is hit by a rocket <laughs> and burns up a cruise, a cruise missile and then comes back I don't, I, you know, I honestly, like I said before, it's like there's so many episodes I can't remember. There's probably a lot of plot twists that I thought were really wonderful, but I just, I'm, I'm like stupid. <laughs> and Beth? Uh, I, I, I... What's a plot? What's a plot twist? I don't know that that's a real plot twist. Um, well, I mean, maybe this la this last two seasons. Oh yeah, there's some there's some shit happens the last. There's some stuff going the on. The last episode. So it's like what? Get, get ready for this. Yeah. Congrats on the tattoo. That's awesome. What's your name? Hi, my name is Valerie, and um, I was wondering, how do you feel about this season in compared, uh, comparison to last season, season 10? Much better. Yeah. <laughs> Here, the, episode 10, we had six episodes to, to bring a lot of people up to speed, to try to to try to reestablish, you know, where we had come, what had, what had transpired, you know, towards the end of the, the, the original run of the show. Um, and there was, there was, there was, there wasn't the time uh, to really do everything that they wanted to do in that respect. This time we had 10 episodes, so it was a luxury to be able to, to go, you know, uh, to develop, you know, to, to develop storylines and, 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 and characters that, the way that they should have been. And it was, it was, we were just too rushed last time. Do you have a favorite episode? This season? Yeah, either or. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> well, my favorite ones are usually the ones I'm in, so... <laughs> so this season would be episode one. <laughs> I'd 
thought Darren's episode was. I thought. I thought yeah. It was yeah. I'm just. I'm just a fan. That was the one that you were featured in, right? No, that was the one that, that I had one line. But I, but there was, but I thought the your episode. What? I know. <laughs> you say it. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. What was it? I was going to say that you you had an episode this season that featured you heavily, and I thought it was great. Oh, I really did. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just desperate to become a pledgy in case you don't. <laughs> I love Annabeth Gish. <laughs> Thank you. Brother Ali Tangaraji. Yeah, when I said when I said it, I, I told a couple of people this story. But when I, you know, Darren came up and he goes, "Okay, now uh, I'm going to give you." Well, first of all, when he called, he called me and he goes, "Okay, you're in my episode." And I was like, "Great." He goes, "You only got one line." And I was like, "Okay." He goes, "He goes, but what a line!" And um, and so when I went to do it, you know, he goes, "Okay, I'm going to give you, I'm going to let, let you give you a take to let you think do do it how you think." You, Skinner would do it, and I was like, okay. And then he goes, then I'm gonna tell you how I want, how I want you to do it. <laughs> and what you saw was how he wanted me to do it. So. And you ain't getting it. What's your name? I'm John. Mm -hmm. Hi, John. Hi. Uh, so we heard your favorites, and now what? What is one episode for all of you that you just hated, or perhaps weren't satisfied with your performance? Our perform, our, our or just in general, how it turned out, whether or not you were part of it. I was always, I don't know, I, the Brady Bunch episode for me was always sort of a weird, I just never could wrap my brain around that one, but, but that, that's just a personal opinion. I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of my work in Avatar. I didn't know I got, you know. I didn't get it. Who was the old lady? <laughs> Where'd she come from? Maybe one second I would. Cool, thank you. All right, we're gonna have to rapid fire through the rest of these questions. What's your name? I'm Ethan. Um, so I have two quick questions. One, how do you feel about, like, do you guys ever wish you would have been asked to be in David Duchovny's Californication? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, skin man. Hi. <laughs> I never saw it, so I don't know. I, I don't know. I think Brian Thompson was on an episode. Okay. Um, so my um, my real question was, when you were like auditioning for the show, were the characters that you became were those the characters that you auditioned for? Yes. Was he always intended to be like? A big role, or that just kind of developed. No, I think uh, that was they brought Skinner in when uh, when actually Jillian uh, Jillian became pregnant, so she was going to she was going to be off for a few episodes. So they they brought and they were I think they were looking for somebody to play that that role. And um, I had been in I had auditioned for the for the show twice before and didn't get casts. And so when they called me in to, for Skinner, um, I said to my agent, "No, I'm not going in because he's seen me twice. That's it. He wants to cast me. Good, fine. I don't know where I, where I was coming from with that." <laughs> an idiot. So you know, my, my agent finally talked me into going back in, so when I went back in, I went in with a very, very bad, surly attitude. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> well, I didn't even audition for the part that I was cast in. I auditioned for the senior FBI agent. Now, I don't know how well you remember the pilot, but... The, but there is a character, a senior FBI agent, who's sitting in the office when they're interviewing Scully. And he had three lines. And Ken Camero, my friend, Ken Camero got that part. And I just got the part with no lines. So, Ken and I have laughed about that over the years. 
I've laughed more than he has. <laughs> Yes, I, for, certainly for the last two years of the show that I was on, I it was clear that uh, Monica was going to be a believer and um, spiritual. Uh, and then the, these last two, 10 and 11, have been uh, different. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for answering my question. You bet. So I'm supposed to end the panel now, but if you guys don't mind if we rapid fire through the rest of them, are you guys okay with that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. What's your name? Dax. Hello. Um, I understand Robert Patrick's got a commitment to his own show. Um, why isn't anyone worried about where's John Doggett? I don't know why. You're his boss. <laughs> He's on, ass yeah. He's on assignment right now. <laughs> undercover. Deep undercover. He's on some other show called... Scorpio. 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 Yeah. Monica Reyes is always mourning the loss and wondering where her, don her John Doggett is. Maura, thanks for taking my question. Uh, just wondering what your favorite aspect or trait is to each of your respective characters. For me, it's moral compass. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yes? <laughs> he has one. You just, you'll, you'll see it eventually, maybe, I hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see it. <laughs> Power. ADs and I've always had affection, but I, they're all great guys. They're all wonderful guys. And, and uh, but Tom was—he uh, was our one of our fa first ADs for many years on the show before he before he became a big movie star, got his own series. Um, so I, 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 you know, yeah, I guess that is. Yeah, Frankie for me too. Yeah. I love them all. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Did you have a favorite one? Frankie, really, but. They're all my favorite. <laughs> all right, our final question. What's your name? Uh, my name is Chase. Um, I wanted to ask, uh, did you guys prefer working on the super serious, intense episodes, or did you prefer doing the more funny, lighthearted episodes? Yeah, and I did so many funny, lighthearted episodes. <laughs> I don't think I don't think any of us were really in, in any of the. I mean, Hollywood AD was had some humor to it. But, but I know for the most part, I think most of our, our stuff was pretty serious um, that we were involved in. I mean, yeah. you, did you have any? Uh, no, I mean, but one of my very favorite bloopers is, is that's been circulating is from you and I in some scene that's supposed to be serious, but I'm just like I'm laughing hysterically. I know the the point is we had fun even when we were doing high intense drama, you know? Because sometimes high intense drama can be so, so intense that it just becomes ludicrous and then yes. you just start yes. laughing your ass off about anything and everything. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. I was gonna ask if there was uh, any final thoughts that you would like to leave us with. Thank you all for coming and, and hanging out with us and spending the day with us here. Um, it's been a, it's been a treat, and I know some of you came from from far off distances, and some of you were local. Um, but to all of you, thank you so very much for for spending these these few hours with us. It's been a, it's been a real treat for us.
All right, I wrote down your name phonetically. I'm gonna get it right this time, I promise. All right, one more time. Here we go for Mitch Pelleggi. Did I get it?